Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls series. It's the morning of day 70. Today is Horde. Ah, uh, kind of crept up on us, didn't it? Alright, so I've been out here working on getting the rest of the base kind of updated and ready to go. So we got all our spikes put into place here. Uh, I was working on getting the ceiling dropped out. I wasn't going to drop the whole thing. I want you guys to be here for that. So I got pretty darn close. We're not going to drop it today, but we will drop it to, uh, like the next episode. Um, so I've got all the side pieces here, all the way around the outside broken out. That's all the uh, cobblestone. There's a couple pieces here that are still holding on, which will break out. And then I think these iron bits will probably hold for a bit. And I'll probably just take out the corners and then just start working my way around to the whole damn thing. For oh, actually, you know what we have to do? Is I gotta pull out, um, I gotta pull out the support from this too. So we'll have to break out some of the blocks along here in order for the rest of it to just drop. Now I did, I got a feeling he will take damage, so I covered him over in, in just uh, blocks here. There's, there is one full block between him and the roof, so when it drops, it's not gonna be supported by anything. So yeah, I'm hoping that that's, uh, that's um, gonna work out. Now, as far as Horde goes, I wanna get some guns going here. So we need to get some coil coil stuff working here. Uh, I don't think I need, this is the coil pistol receiver. We don't need that. I might have to make coil rifle barrels, but those are just this. So let's just see here what we can make. Um, for coil stuff. Um, coil rifle, we are missing barrels and receivers. So, what does a receiver take to make? Um, coil rifle barrel. Let's just make 10 of those, get those going. Um, type in coil. Coil pistol receiver. Coil rifle receiver is forged steel, mechanical parts, and electrical parts. So that's easy enough to do. We'll make a bunch of those too. Uh, so where is electrical, mechanical, and steel? Got a feeling we're going to be making a lot of these, so we might as well make 10 of these as well. Get those crafting and get that ready for tonight. Uh, we're going to rock with two coil rifles tonight. I got a feeling we're going to have to. Um, I think we need to... Is it the grip and the parts? That's a coil pistol barrel we don't need. Coil sniper barrel we don't need for now. Uh, let's hang on to those. We'll hang on to that for repairs. Actually, there's a little bit of repair I need to do downstairs. So grab some of this. Uh, let's put you away. Not in there, though. You can go in there. I did have a bunch of iron in here, so I was able to upgrade a lot of those things downstairs, but we're really short on iron. Now, I think the next seven days after this horde, we're really going to have to spend time um, getting materials and really going after that laser multi-tool. That's what's holding us back at this point. So let's get down here. There's a few blocks, I think, that need to be repaired. Most of them only have a handful of damage. I've got all the major ones, like, yeah, there's a few here. Just a few of them. Yeah, I thought I got them all, but apparently I didn't. Although the, the guards may have been shooting at somebody and just planked them. That's a possibility too. So, speaking of the guards, I've been trying to decide what I want to do with them. Get that fixed, because we are going to... I've got a feeling we're going to use this as a walkway. We might not. I actually might go out this way. I haven't decided yet. Um, and then have, like, stopgap stop gap pieces in the tower here. But I, what I want to do with these guards at some point, not necessarily today, but I want to um, take these out and put in a barrier so that they can't see down here to shoot people. Because if they shoot guys down here, then they'll turn around and attack them and these guys are just going to get murdered. So I want to block off the the crew down here from getting killed. And maybe we'll do that right now. Let's take out this block. Oh, fuck! How did I... 
Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck me. You know what it was? I power attacked and it... For some reason, even with a tool, when you power attack, it does a swipe. So it will catch... Yeah, he's back up. It will catch... Um, <laughs> it will catch the uh, the people next to you. I only did five points damage and this guy's all pissed off. Alright, let's get rid of this bear. I really, I'm really sorry, buddy. So I should be able to theoretically just single tap this? Yeah. Yeah, it's so when you like power attack, it kind of does a sweeping attack. Um. Okay. Sure. So yeah, that was what happened there. Alright, we'll knock this one out. I like the guards help. Like, they do a good job helping, but they'll also do a good job of getting themselves killed if they're not careful. So we're going to put up... at least this high so that the uh, zombies can't get over it. And we'll just upgrade it to concrete for now. This is just a blinder. Now they might be able to jump that. We'll hold on to it for now. This guy on the other hand, I think they're probably fine. I don't ever foresee them getting up on this side. It's just going to be right here. Right along here, because I'm going to plan. I'm planning on leading them out, like out of this place here. If they break through, I got to get out of there, right? So I'll lead them out of there and onto the walkway, and then around. But that gives them uh, ac like access to this, and as long as they don't see is this building here is easier to get into, they shouldn't come along this walkway. Although, I, ideally, I'd like to encase the guards in bars and everything as well. But these guards over here seem to be doing okay. Like, we're going to have to protect them. Like, we're going to protect them here so that they can't shoot down this way. Which I probably should do at this point. Like, where do I want the brick? Like, probably, like, somewhere right here. We'll go right here. And then... This will still give me the ability, like, to see if there's, um, mobs. Like, if I have to retreat to the main building, this will give me the ability to at least see if the mobs are trying to get the guards. And I can do something about it, hopefully. Still concrete there, eh? Well. Really? Oh, there you go. Okay, now we put up this wall. I'll make it look like much prettier later on, but right for right now, this will do. Man, I don't know. If we get like lots of demons and behemoths tonight, it could be a real bad time. Well, that'll at least help to keep the guards alive. This, of course, is not going to help me. But I don't think we'll need to retreat back into the base. I gotta knock all this out too. This is garbage. Um, I should just work on another spot right here. Probably, eh? Like right here. Question though. Nah, they shouldn't. I was gonna say, like if I make this extended over to here, are they going to see this as a way to get up to me, like break out this and climb up and get on and try and get in rather than coming in the doors because they can't get across to here? I mean, I guess I can put like a pull-up bridge for now. But I can't update it on Horde Night, so... Uh, it's iffy. Like we could do it here. I still think, though, we have to be shooting the zombies. Like, this is too much for them to... Like, the cops will see me here. You know, the demons will see me here and be shooting straight at me. 
which is why I like that little corner because they can't see me until they get to the corner and then it's only a handful of them, right? So if we do something similar, like maybe, you know, maybe it comes this way. So it goes out that way and then turns. So there's only a little, well, no, because they'll still be able to see me coming out here. Like if it comes out a little bit more, maybe to there. Right, then we can have like this, you know? And I'd be shooting from like here. I'd be up one block, but like that would be the shooting zone. Although it's the potential to damage the walkway is like really bad. But that being said, like especially when I get to armor piercing ammo and then those guards are going to be in danger too. I'd have to extend the wall out to protect them as well. So this is not the right place to be. So maybe it is here. Like maybe we do, like if we do it like that, you know, and use this as the secondary base here. It doesn't have to be very big, but just enough. And we turn all these into hatches. Then we can use this, like we'll just block all this off so the guys coming in can't see us. So they gotta come, still have to come up and around, but at least, ah, uh, we gotta move all our power too. Like we won't be able to do, do a fallback today, unfortunately. Like, like all this is gonna have to be like up on the top. Like, how, like it's gonna be a solar. No. These are gonna be battery banks. We're gonna have the solar on the far side of the building collecting power and sending it to battery banks which will then power this so if the battery banks get wrecked at least we still have our solar making a battery bank is easy we'll see how this goes tonight I mean they did break through they did completely destroy one of these hatches the other night and we're part way through the second one worst case scenario like what do I do then Like the easiest thing would be to come out here. This is a triple this is a triple hatch as well. Right? But then I need to cover this up. And then have like a door here that or yeah, a door that I can just bail out. I mean it's not gonna help me if I'm running around down there, but at least this way I have some place to go. And then there's like it's like very narrow here for them to like con congregate and gather. Although if you hear the, uh, do we have any points um, available, skill points? We do have, we've got one. So turrets, what's, is there any mechanics? It is. Oh, it's back up and running. Okay, good. I was worried because if we do decide to retreat to here, Yeah, the turret's working. It, do it doesn't here, but it does here. So we're... That turret will continue to work. Okay. How forged iron army. Really? So this will be the fallback. For now. I'm going to put some walls up. They're not going to be that sturdy, but they're going to be walls just in case. Something we can knock out quickly. Concrete should be enough, I think. Uh, what did I say I needed? Oh yeah, forged iron. So concrete should be enough. Just for now. So this is the B plan. We'll lose, we don't, we won't have electricity, but at least the junk sludge will be working. Uh, let's go ahead and put... The minimum amount... Fuck, is this going to be enough support? That's the question. That will probably be enough support. And then go like this. I think so. Well, let's find out. Let's get this filled in. And then up here... Yeah, I say we go just full protection. 
I'll go this route. Because at this point in time, if we're this far back, I don't want to have to be focusing on any freaking birds or anything. So let's go ahead and do... Uh, advanced. Um... Shit. Let's change our block here. Um, let's go with this guy. And then we take that out. And we go advanced. Like that. And then we're going to put a door here. Alright, it's claustrophobic as, claustrophobic as fuck, but We'll be okay. Now I got a, a door inside. We better make sure we get our coil stuff going here. Um, get at least two of them going. Okay, so door, right? We've got a one of these guys. That's all we need. Okay, we're not going to need the spikes. Uh, what else are we not going to need at this point? Don't, don't think about it. Just go back outside. I'm, uh, I'm starting to worry now. We're all, we'll be okay. I mean... This needs to be steel, though. So that's steel. So that should all be steel. I should probably... Do this whole roof. Alright, and then we do this part. This is just so that they don't break out here and try and crack in here somehow. I mean, if they do, for whatever reason, if they do get in here, this whole place is getting destroyed anyway, so... There's not much I can really do about it. Uh, that's already steel, that's fine for now. Alright, well, I mean, the other thing we could do... I don't have room here to put a plate, damn. I was gonna say we could put a plate up there, but... What if we do... Here's a crazy idea. I wonder if it'll work. Crazy ideas generally don't work, but we're gonna find out in a minute here. So I'm, I was tr I've been trying to think of other ways I can like stop them from coming through here. And we know that the hatches will open so they open into the block that they're in. Right? So if we put, for the sake of argument, a, this shape, uh, we're advanced. Like if we put that there like that, because now that's technically a space, we could take um, one of these guys and do on face that worst case scenario we quickly just open this and it blocks this entranceway oh, I can put it right there too just enough time like ju for just enough to get out of there if I have to like all it is is like it's going to be in my way though so will that. But it will be in the zombies way and stop them from coming through. <coughs> For that matter, rather than even putting a hatch, like you could go this route instead. It still lets me move in and out of here. But I think that plate is enough to stop them from climbing th like over top of this. So that's like that, they can't get in here? Or does it have to be on the top? Like, maybe we do that. Maybe we put... Uh, on face. Maybe we put it there. Just as that extra little bit of... 
Hey guys, you can't break in here. I wonder if the behemoths do AoE damage. Because right now we've got a plate on the outside, plus a block. Right? Plate, block, plate, block, all the way around. So it's double, it's double steel all the way around. So if we put at least something here, even if they break this, then they got to break two more blocks. The behemoths do, or the tall zombies do. They have to break two more blocks to get through, rather than just one. And that's enough, like, being out of my way, that I can get through here still. I think we do that. Now we gotta wait for it to uh, dry. Now what you would really want to do is put another block in here. But I don't think we've got the- well we might. Let's go find out what time it is from this guy. Dude, uh, you get the time for me? Oh, it's still you noon. Have a great day I'm now. having a okay day. Not a great day, but an okay day. Where's my frames? That's just to keep you from getting killed, buddy. I'm always thinking ahead. Alright, so... I know I've repaired everything down below. All the wires are up and running and properly ready to go. Uh, I need to get... One of these. So we can turn it into a... Post, because I don't think... I don't think I can make posts, like corner posts out of these, can I? I can make big blocks, but I don't want a big block. I just want like a... I just want a one of these guys and we do advanced like that it's one of the old tricks I used to use where you just kind of like put it like that now that stops zombies from getting through So that is just another le level of, that'll be another level of protection, I think. Barring the fact, like, the fact that we don't have titanium right now, that will at least help them breaking through here. And if they do, I mean, we just go in here. Where's my door? Uh, door, door, door. Um. That's in the wrong spot. Right, it puts me back right up against it. Shit. All right. I wish I could like. I wish there was like a um, a confirm tool when you play stuff. So you put it down, and then you've got to confirm its placement before it stays there. So if it's in the wrong spot, you can say no, and then it just goes back into your inventory. Because that was a big mistake on my part. I mean, at least it wasn't a steel door, right? Am I right? There we go. That'll, that'll let us bail out. I'm not going to update it. That's just the emergency. Emergency death room. Yeah, I don't think we need to update this anymore. Okay, you're, you're steel, so you're fine. Check out what you are. You're, yeah, you're, uh, yeah, you're good. Okay. I think we're, um, actually. Let's hope they don't hit this thing. I'll pick these guys up. Um, these are fine. I don't think I'm going to be doing much from here tonight unless there's, like, no demons and stuff. Then we can just, like, the animals and stuff we can shoot down here. All right, well, I think we're ready. Kind of. I've been slowly trying to update this building. At some point, we'll get it all to steel. This, I'm hoping, comes out at some point. Right now, it's just a bullet stop. That's all I've been using it for. All right, let's get our gear in order in here. I think that's probably good there too. All right, let's get our gear in order. Um, so we got our two. Okay, put this stuff away here. Got to be confident about this. Okay. Um, 
you can go in there all right well there's no point in even care I mean we'll carry these in case we need to get up on something real quick but there's really no point in me carrying any materials to fix stuff with all right what do we got in here Three more of those. Can we make any more coil stuff? No, because we're missing... What are we missing? No, we should be able to. Yeah, let's make two more. Uh, so... Coil rounds we've got in here. Another couple thousand. So, I mean... I think if we just rock the coil rifle and a shotgun all night, we'll be just fine. Shotgun for just the generic mobs, coil rifle for everything else. I think we're going to be fine. He says with a shakiness in his voice that belays his, his confidence in his ability to be able to survive. <laughs> um, Alright, so we got to get the doors open. we got to move the car out of the way. Uh, what else do we need to do? I think that's about it. Um, we got our ammo. We don't need the iron at this point. We're good here. Um, so yeah, let's get, make sure we got the coil rifles and stuff set up and ready to go. So silencer we're going to need for one. Uh, I don't know if it'll take a bipod or not. So where's my second coil now? There's the coil sniper. We were uh, thinking about taking AP as well, right? Like, we could use AP ammo. Uh, I'm overthinking this. Let's take this and we'll strip stuff off that. We're going to use this shotgun because it's at full strength. So, bring you down. We'll modify you. And then we're going to modify... Bring you down. Modify you. Okay, so this is our best one. So for Horde Knight, we're okay losing the silencer. So the second one, we've got pretty much everything as well. Full auto, right? We've got the full auto. What are we missing? Oh, the uh, the grip. The grip. Let's um. The foregrip mod. Now we've got a bunch of not that. This. We've got a bunch of those now. So let's grab a bunch of material: steel, forged iron, iron. Where's my iron? Here it is. And then a few other things out of here. I don't know if it, we're going to need that or not. This, this. Mechanical parts. Where's the mechanical plastic? I don't need that. Um, mechanical. I think that's about all we're going to need. I hope. So we need... Yeah, we don't have enough here. Okay. Uh, foregrip is missing what? Glue. Oops, glue and what? Glue and what? Uh, starts with an F. Springs. I wish there was a way, like in some of the mods in Minecraft, as long as your storage is like right next to your, your, your crafting, everything that you've got in your storage is available for your crafting. So all you have to do is just click on it and it automatically loads in what you need. That would be super handy. Going to make um, two of these guys. Uh, what else do we need here? So one will go on this. One will go back on our shotgun. Can we put an armor shredder mod into the shotgun? What do we need for a shredder? Forge steel lead. Which we should have here. Yep, got lots. Uh, so armor shredder. I'm gonna make two of those. I, I wonder if we can actually fit that into the shotgun. I doubt it. 
I seriously doubt that it'll go in there, but we'll try it. Now this slows zombies down, am I r correct? We don't need them to be slower, we just need them to be, like, dead. Um, rad remover. Do we have enough rad removers? We've got one on this guy. So let's make another one. Uh, what else might we need here? Shotgun choke we've already got, but I want to run a second shotgun probably. Do I? No, the one's going to be fine. I don't think we're going to need a second one. It's not going to be like these where we're burning through them like crazy. Because of the sheer number of rounds we're firing. Um, this will be nice eventually. Master Hunter, but not quite yet. Uh, I don't know. This does electricity damage, right? Need five car batteries for that? Really? You know what? Just for the sake of it, how many batteries do we have? I can always get more by, by wrenching cars. We'll just go back to the wall cart and wrench those cars there. Uh, <laughs> let's just make one of these guys for the sake of making one. Maybe we can drop it on a shotgun. It might be interesting to see if it'll uh, actually do anything. Alright, so those guys can go back in here. So we can put in those guys here. These guys will be ones we use to repair the good ones. Uh, what do you have on you? Just a site. So you can stay there. Uh, let's modify you. We'll take these off. We can put you and you back in there. Now the shotgun. Modify. So we want to put the clip extender, the choke, and you. Do we have any more blessed metal mods? I thought we did. Full auto. Retracting stock. We'll leave it for now because we've got the armor shredder still we need to check out. There's the foregrips. We wanted to put a foregrip on it too. Um, let's mod Okay, you're already done. So it's the second one. Where is it? Did we... We... No? We did. We put the second one away. All right. I thought I was. I th I thought I had already put one of these together. Okay. So there's the second one. So those are both ready. Right. So we need a blessed metal mod. What do we need for that? Get that going. So there's the shredder. Will the shotgun accept the shredder? That's the good question. It won't. Okay, fair enough. It will take the blessed metal though. We'll put the stock on at the end. We'll put this guy in here. Here. Because if we need to repair it. And then here, this will be the uh, blessed metal. Yeah. We'll go that route. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, so I think the rest of this stuff can probably just go away for now. Um, so we don't need to make any more. So we'll put this stuff away. Oh, we have two armor shredders. Because I think, you know what, that's fine because... Um, with that being said, we're going to be rocking probably with three coil rifles coming up. Like, we'll be running three coil rifles, like, right across here for when we go do uh, missions and stuff. So, yeah, having that's probably going to be better. And I should probably, probably be taking contract grenades with me. Although, I wonder if we should be... This is so damn cheap. So, 8 times 19, right? So damage per pellet is 19, pellets 8. So that's like 
160 damage roughly. Well, 152. And this guy is 165. Not modified. So this is still better. A question. Um, you don't take the armor shredder either. So, mm, coil shotgun. We have a few rounds for that. How much does it take to make a coil slug? Um, just regular coil stub. Tips, iron, and battery. It might be worth switching out. You know what? We'll roll with the regular shotgun tonight. See how it does. And if it's garbage, then we'll we'll only roll with it on non-horde nights. We'll go with it when we go to out to take on like the the um, easy zombies. If there's such a thing now. Uh, let's pull some ammo out. For the shotgun. We can put this stuff away. Um going to go fully decked out with coil stuff tonight. That can go away. Oh. Starting to get nervous again. Alright. Um, let's not throw that in the ground. Probably going to need that at some point. So we're going to put these guys in here. Keep the bat on us because you know, you never know. We're going to need this probably. Let's keep our ammo sorted so at least we know how much we've got at a quick glance. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need this. So coil, we're going to be just fine. I mean, if we need... Here, the runner outside. If we need more coil ammo than this, then we're in a lot of trouble. Is that somebody banging outside? No. It's not. So we need this for the end of the night. What else do we need? I'm sure I'm forgetting something. We got our stuff here. We need water. I think I'm going to take... I'm going to take Yucca tonight because I got a feeling we're going to be using... Um, that's a wandering horde. Ah, let's go deal with them. Oi! Fuckers! Bring it in! What do you know? I don't think I can deal with that guy without, uh, using one of these. Ah, that caught part of me. Ah, you fucker. Yeah, the behemoths, I mean... That was the fucking guards. Thanks for that. Thanks for, thanks for helping me out, guys. These guys aren't even the dangerous ones yet. Sure. I'll take the crap you guys drop. Ooh, that's not bad. You can sell some of that stuff. Alright, well. Let's go see if anybody else is around here. They got the bear. They must have got most of them. Yeah, I don't see anybody. Alright, let's go move the car out of the way. We'll get the doors open early. And if they come in, they come in. What? No big deal. Although I never did check out if I needed a repair over here. Wow, it's like already time for uh, craziness. Come on, get this car out of the way. Push! Push, damn you! I can push a car farther, faster than this. I still remember <laughs> the first time I ever run out of gas. It was in my Ford Ranger pickup truck. I pull up the lights and the gas station is just like right across 
a kitty corner and I'm at the intersection and I'm making a left hand turn so I can turn right into the gas station and I ran out of gas right there on the corner <laughs> I had to push my car through the lights and up into the gas station oh that was fun times um yeah I think we're fine I don't think they're gonna do anything over here let's get these doors open though like this back wall like is still like not touched they just I don't know what it is they just don't want this back wall they come right to the door which is perfect it's just how the base is planned it's just it's really working out I'm kind of shocked that it's that uh, I don't want to say that easy but that's simple you know so this should stay instant always Right? I should No, I have to do them both. Damn it. Um, options. Instant. Always. Yeah, man, we're good to go. Alright, your door is locked. And you're ready. Make sure we pick this up. So I think we're ready down here. Close this door. I don't I feel sorry for you guys uh, these are fine those doors are closed I gotta put together a checklist at some point uh, right putting stuff away here so stuff to sell I think I've been did I think I've been getting rid of the fort bites I don't know maybe I haven't that can go in there that can go in there. You guys can go in there. Let's grab some food. Uh, what are we at? Let's eat. Before we start tonight. Get some steaks on us. I'm going to take this with us. i got a feeling we're going to be dehydrated a lot tonight. Let's get our... Non-effing around bandages. Another stack of these guys, extra stack of these guys, just in case. These are worthless. Uh, put some of these down. Uh, we should probably put both of our stacks of water here. We might as well put our food down here. Uh, what else? Plaster casts. Uh, definitely going to take one of these before we start tonight. What else? Uh, I can hear the crickets. Um... What else? What else? What else? I think that's it. Right? We're good? I got my weapons. We're loaded. Right? Got my bat. Uh, oh yeah, we wanted to take... Just in case we need to hack some shit up. We might as well... I don't know. We might use the grenades. We might not. You know what? I don't think we are. Got our looting goggles on. Our looting goggles for later. Close this door. Pick all those up. Turn this on. Now, that's for the dart traps. That's for the barbed wire. Yep. Oh, uh, you know what we forgot? Do we have time? I think we got a couple minutes. Just gonna grab them, and we'll worry about it when we get out there. Ooh, you know what we should have done? Just done this. Stop fucking around. Just get out there. Right? Okay. Put those two up. Get this turned on. Get that put down. Get that put down. Alright, so... We're trapped in here now, and uh, let's not die. So let's modify you. Let's put in... We got the rad remover. Want the plus metal. What can we afford to lose? Retracting stock. We'll just try this. Oh, it doesn't work in the shotgun. Then why is it telling me it can? Thirty percent ch chance to proc to all weapons. 
Oh, I bet you I bet you it's in conflict with this. It is. Well, that's fine. Let's put these down here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, I feel like I'm forgetting something besides like bringing my health to max before uh, we go out there. I've eaten. I don't know. I think we're pretty good. Got water, health, stuffs. Take this before the night starts. This lasts for 15 minutes, so that should be enough for the whole night. I'll reclose that. All right, well, start with one of these doors up. We get a behemoth. Behemoth, we put the second one up. Oh, we forgot to upgrade these. Well, we can't do anything about it now. Oh, yes, we can. No, we can't. Let's just leave it. Can always replace it. That's all right. That's a little bit of protection. Not much. I mean, the regular zombies will probably smash this early, but whatever. Whatever. All four doors are open, right? Right? Yeah, they're all open. Not like we can't make another one, but still. Okay. So when I got up this morning, I was like, oh, yeah, I got like three episodes to record and... Then it's Horde Night and all that, and it really it's only two episodes to record, so I wasn't really prepared. I was hoping to do one episode where we went out and did some questing, which we did and didn't turn out that well. <laughs> and then I look at the date in the second episode, and I'm like, oh, it's day nine, or day 70 already? Shit, I'm not really ready, because I, I did want to have a proper uh, escape route. If we had an extra day, we would have had plenty of time to get it up and running, but... As it stands, we don't. So after this horde, I think what we'll do is we'll spend the next couple of days uh, mining resources and um, getting the base up to where I th we've got a good retreat point. This is okay. I mean, it'll depend on how bad tonight is. If there's like a lot of demons and stuff. I'm on a 16 zombie horde at warrior difficulty. So, I mean, it's not that bad. Um, I may crank it up for the next horde. We'll see how it goes. But... Like, if we don't get a lot of demons tonight or a lot of behemoths or crazy people, then um, I might not uh, work on expanding. I might just leave it like this for the next horde as well. Because I'm still iffy about, like, what I want to do out here. Like, we could continue this straight across. Like, leave a gap, obviously. And have a walkway across. But, leave, but continue out over here, where there's the second part of the base. And then, um, we have to make all that reinforced steel, though. That's going to be a bit of work. And then, um, we'll have a retreat point where we can run out here. We'll have it all covered over. Run out here, right? And run along either to the corner here or to just offset from the corner. So right here would be another base that we could fight from. And then have this as another base that we could fight from. I would design it differently. And then the last stage would be um, like outwards, like a little bit of a ramp up and then a drawbridge. Here we go. So that the last base would be our, our main fortification here. That's the last stand, right? But then at that point, they're going to want to smash the bottom walls down and all that too, right? Ah, Yeti. What's up, buddy? Oh, you didn't make it through. That turret's going to be firing a lot faster now, too. Ooh, that's got to hurt. So that turret's going to fire faster, which means um, it'll knock more of them off. Yeti, yeti, yeti. It's 
Just take your time, line up your shot. No point in rushing things. I'll put the garbage... Oh, there's a behemoth. Or demo. That guy's down. Ah, I should have brought the grenades. Could have got some work done down there. Hopefully they don't break those stairs. Come on, guys. Let's go. Yeah, garbage. Might as well use this, like I said it was going to do. Well, I have taken damage, though. Wow, you stumbled right by the, uh... Stumbled right by the, uh, thing there. I think I put the, uh, shock thing on this. Come on, you guys. You know you can do it. Yeah. That's gonna start being an issue. <laughs> Just before you can take the swing. Oh. Turret's seeing something. I wonder why they're going after that. I, I did. They're just getting right past these today. I don't know why. Huh. Stop banging on my shit down there, guys. Oh, at least they can jump up from the uh, spikes. I wonder if that's what they're doing. Thinking that they can jump up from the spikes. So they jump up from the spikes. But they're taking damage at the same time. So when they take damage, they, they damage the walls instead of uh, trying to go up. Possibility. Except that doesn't explain these guys. I heard a, uh, I think it's a demo. Gotta not do that. Hello? Sorry, man. Door knockers will be prosecuted. It just sounds like it's getting nastier out there. my loot bag with you. Alright, let's pop one of these guys. Yo, buddy, what's up? Yeah, I still think this shotgun will work. I mean, it's a good way to get rid of the shotgun ammo.
groin shot. Your wife is not going to welcome you home, man. Holy. Oh, he walked right into that. They're banging down here. It's been pretty good tonight, I gotta say. I have no idea how far along we are. We're at least a third of the way through, I think. Then a few of this crowd out. Color rifle ammo is expensive. I don't want to waste it on these idiots. Oh, he's done. Oh, hello. Can I talk to you about Smith and Wesson? Ooh, Ooh that's got to suck. Come on. Oh, you almost made it. Skaters have got good balance. You should have made it. Was that a spider monkey that did that? Oh. Is that a demo? Probably. A lot more demos tonight. I'm not seeing any demons at all. Kind of an interesting uh, turn of events. Oh, stop banging on my shit, buddy. Just interested to see how much I could get done with that. Apparently not a lot. What do you got for me? Ooh. I had a hard hat. Ooh. Red. Red, red, red. Nope. Ah, uh, open red, red skill notes. Shit. Well. Let's go see the damage. Nothing. Although I guess I should probably get some health going here. Use these last two in here. Ooh, you moved right at the last second. Come on. I don't know what those glowy guys, I think they're radiators, but I don't know if there's anything special about them or not. Like if they get a piece of you, if they do any kind of special damage or what. I get the feeling they're like... I get the feeling they're like super radiated, so if they hit you, you take like some kind of radiation damage. I just want to make sure that bear is not, like, damaging my shit. I really didn't want to have to be fighting from up here. That dog's going to explode. No, he's not. Alright, it's dog time. They went right by. Shoot your own door. There it is. Yes. Let's get serious with these guys now. I don't know if I got him all the way. I didn't, but...
Wow, that guy went right by the window. I gotta say, the, uh, the animal attacks seem to be, like, the best one for, like, damage and stuff. Like, against me? It's because of the stupid spider monkeys. They're so unpredictable, right? And drop one of these guys. Aha! You didn't get me this time, you fuckers. Oop. At some point, one of those guys is going to jump straight through there. Ow, oh, fuck off. I'm in the middle of something, can't you see? I got a 12-hour uh, break here. That's getting a little intense. I don't know if I can use this, can I? Oh, I can. Perfect. Fucking die. Ooh. Well, hello there. It's kind of shit that that has to be on an angle and these guys can hang on to that. But I have to be able to, like... I should put, like... Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to put a turret that so it just shoots those guys that show up, like, at a certain level. Like an anti-aircraft turret, almost. Much like I have for the birds, but make it for those guys as they jump up. You will suffer. Apparently not. Not today, fucker. Oh, my one gun is almost done. I'm gonna make sure he dies before he goes down. Shit, he's gonna blow up down there. Yep. Yeah, well. Hopefully he took some of them with him. Oh, you jump right into that one, buddy. Hello? Ooh, boop shot. Good night. Come on, you guys, up here. Hope he doesn't blow up. Come on, birds. Bring it in. He knows the gun's there. Good night. Fuck off. Ah, don't you go down there. Did that guy stay there? Nope. So they're not even, like, no behemoths or anything yet. Behemoths. Let's get that bear out of there. Come on, you guys. Well, they haven't broken the, uh, the ramps like they did last time. Line you up. Line you up. Oh, you made it up here. That's pretty good of you, buddy. That's determination. I want that guy on my team. Come on, John. Stick your head through. Oh, you knocked the bag off, you bastards. Oop.
Damn you. Although at least the one good thing about using a shotgun at this point is that we're not hitting anywhere over there. He's got a piece of me. Come on. Yeah, I suckered you into it. Ooh, you tried and failed. Eh, a little bit of stuff. Seems to be getting intense down here again. No, nope, not really. Except the hazmat guy's showing up now, though. Come on. There you go. Ooh, you got a piece of me, eh? Oh, there's the morning. So, I'm not sure why I was worried. I guess if... I guess if the behemoths and stuff showed up, then it would have been a really bad night, but we got lucky. I think part of it, too, is that um, we really kind of restrict how much we're killing early on. Like, we're not, like, murdering hundreds of zombies, like, all the time. Oh, he's attacking my... Oh, he's got to go. Ow. That should be it. Oh, wait. Uh, where are these? I don't think at this game stage it's going to make that much difference, but... Wow, a whole shovel. Nice. Yeah, they were doing damage to this. The white was, anyway. All quiet. Alright, we put this back to three. And the same with this one. Right? Screamer showing up at the most opportune time. Oh, she can get in this way too. Fucking die. All right, any bags out here? Nothing. Any bags out here? Nothing. Alright, let's loot this shiz up. Now, they did a pretty good job on the spikes here. I'm actually kind of glad they took this out, because now I can fill this in with steel. I mean, it really isn't that big of a deal. But yeah, they didn't do much damage here, though. I guess they were just trying to climb on these and jump up, so maybe that is a worthwhile thing. Like, I wonder if you could... Use that in a base design somehow, where you set the base up like one level, or like a double level up, so the zombies have to kind of get up to this level, but then you just put spikes here so they got to kind of run up and then jump up on the thing. I wonder if that could work. I mean, obviously like later game it wouldn't be that, uh, wouldn't be that effective, but at least it would, you know, thin them out a little bit. Alright, let's scrap some of this stuff. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Uh, that can get scrapped. That can get scrapped. Nah, I mean, we're doing okay. I don't really bank on loot from this anyway. So it's not like I make a lot off this. Ooh, that was a couple of uh, turrets. You know, just enough to get a little bit of money. Maybe we, for the next uh, episode, maybe we head out to the traders. Wait, day, yeah, day 71, they restock, so they should restock today. Go out there and see if we can grab us a multi-tool 
I don't know if they're going to have them. And if they do, it's probably going to be the same price as everything else. Um, so it'll be like 60 whatever thousand. Scrap that. Um, anything else to scrap? The can. So I mean, I don't know. We didn't make that much today. So let's modify you. Take the light out. You know what? I'm going to end this episode here, guys. Um, put these glasses back on. And um, when we pick it up tomorrow, I'm going to get this stuff organized. We'll sell it to the trader. And I think we will head off to Trader Caitlin. I mean, it depends on how much money we have. Wow, we didn't go through that much ammo. Like two stacks. And then one stack of shotgun. So i got to say, that was a pretty efficient night. It's a lot less than I uh, thought it would take. So I think layered defense is going to be relatively... It's going to be a little more easier than I thought. I mean, it really just depends on how bad the behemoths and stuff get, how much they rip, rip apart the base. But so far, it's been pretty good. So if we get... I mean, I don't know. If we've got... Let's say if we've got 60,000, or if we get 50,000, which I don't think we have, but if we get 50,000, then we'll go out to the traders. All right, but I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.